Hi, I'm Frankie Mazapika. I hope you enjoy the video that you're about to see. It's our desire that at the conclusion of this video, you will have a heightened expectation of the plan of God for your life. Last Monday, I felt like the Lord, I don't like talking about how long I pray because I don't want anyone comparing themselves. Uh, some of you, I, I just looked at a lady in the back. She makes, she prays way longer than I do. But on Monday, I felt like the Lord told me to pray two, two hours. On Tuesday, I felt him tell me, I want you to pray for three hours. It was fascinating because on Wednesday, I went for a run early in the morning. I got done running, and I knew the Lord was speaking to me. It was just like quick and fast. He said, celebrate your wife and celebrate your family. Because if someone in your family were to get cancer, you would wish you celebrated them more. I was like, I mean, it hit me. Four hours later, my wife calls me up. She says, I just left the doctor's office and they found a nodule and the doctor said it could be cancerous. It's full, it's hard, it could be cancerous. But he said, don't worry about it. No. Have these doctors learned so much that they've become stupid? <laughs> you might have cancer, but don't worry. What, what plant? Have you fell off the turnip truck? You're talking about cancer, bro. So anyway, but he said, don't worry. I said, okay. I felt the Lord tell me, pray another three hours. So I pray, I'm praying for three hours. I didn't call anybody. I'm, uh, I didn't talk to anybody. I'm praying. I feel like the Lord, not out loud, just right down in here, it's going to be okay. I don't know what the chapters are going to look like. I just know at the end, everything's going to be okay. Right? So I'm so sure about this. I'm so sure. It's like overwhelming peace. It's going to be okay. Overwhelming peace. That for three hours, I tried to bring it up. Lord, I need you to touch my wife. And as soon as I'd say that, I'd get bored and get distracted. ADD would kick in full throttle. And I'm like, man, I cannot pray about this situation. But I'd, I'd pray about you. Lord, I don't know where they're at. And I, man, I feel fire in my bones. Pray for, where, I don't care where they are. Feel, touch them, God. And I feel fire. But then I'd go back to my wife. And it's like, that's already taken care of. Don't worry about it. So I come home. My wife, eyes bloodshot. Makeup everywhere. Tears coming down. Well, she doesn't know. I didn't even tell her. In fact, She's finding out right now as I'm telling you this story. Because I didn't want to tell her. The Lord told me if someone in my family gets cancer, I'm going to regret it four hours ago. I didn't want to tell her that. It would freak her out. It was freaking me out. But I'm standing in the kitchen, and she's talking, and I'm like at complete peace. But now I'm nervous because now I look like I don't care. Husbands, you know how much trouble... <laughs> If they say they broke a fingernail, the world needs to stop. And so I had to get transparent real quick. She's too smart. I said, look, Allie, I, I do care, but I just finished praying for three hours. I know everything's going to be okay. So I'm not trying to minimize it. I'm not trying to not acknowledge it, but I'm just, I just know everything's going to be okay. The next day, Lord, pray another three hours. I pray three hours. She, somehow or another, she, it's very hard, many of you know, how to get an appointment when you want it. Well, they had an opening. She was able to go get her MRI the very next day, which was that alone was a miracle. You know that. So she says, hey, I'm going to go get an MRI. And so I'm praying. I'm like, God, I already know you got this taken care of. I feel the peace. I'm not going to ask you to take care of it anymore because I know, but, but I am going to ask for this. And I closed my eyes and I did this exact thing. I want you to reach into her and grab that nodule and pull it out. And then I did this with my hand. And I did it again. I said, I know it's going to be all right, but just take it out. 
See, sometimes you have to see in the spirit before you can see in the natural. So she calls me up, no, she shoots me a text message or the text message that the nurse sent or the email, a screenshot, I don't know what it was. And it says, you are negative. And I'm like, yes, yes. I get home, she's like, ding, ding, like a, like a TV commercial, ding. And she's happy, I come walking, I'm like, yeah. And she goes, but you know what, there's one more thing. I said, oh, tell me, please tell. She's like, it was the strangest thing. I said, oh, <laughs> what, what was so strange? She said, they did the MRI and they were very, very confused because they could not even find the nodule. <laughs> Couldn't even find the nodule. Now, there's been moments where I have faced adversity and I look back and I go, Frankie, Frankie, you know better. But this week? <laughs> this week? Come on. How do we respond to adversity? So... What's the summary of the sermon? Nothing strange is happening. Do not let him take your prayer. Do not let him take your faith. Don't let him do it. Convince yourself, hell or high water, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I want to share a, a testimony of someone who has recently healed. And the reason we're sharing the testimony is every time we talk about a healing that Jesus did, we see a healing thereafter. I mean, this morning in the first service, it was insane. Like, I, I'm not gonna tell you about it because I don't want you to compare the first service to the second service. But I mean, I prayed for four people, three of them got healed, bang, bang, bang. The fourth one, I don't know. That's just being honest, I don't know. But the first three were insane. Oh, no, no. Then I prayed for a fifth person. So the first person, the fourth person, I'm not sure. But bang, bang, bang. I'm like, Jesus, you are unbelievable. You say, well, how do you know they got healed? Because I hold their hand and I say, half the people I pray for, they feel God touching them. Yes. The other half, they don't feel anything at all, but they still get healed. I don't know what God's doing, but I want you to tell me what he's doing. So I start praying, and I start squeezing my hand like, like, I'm like, I got your point, back off. <laughs> squeezing it. I'm like, tell me what you feel. I feel heat. I'm not gonna tell you, because I don't want you to expect what they expected. You just need to expect that God's gonna heal. If you like that video, Take a second and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. This way you'll always know every time we've uploaded a new video.